Hello everyone and welcome to my Sister Wives Today channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Miri Brown believes that Cody won't give a crap about her move to Utah in the episode of Sister Wives. On Sister Wives, viewers have seen Cody Brown distance himself from his first wife, Mary Brown, over time. She had finally worked up the strength to walk away from him rather than continue their unhappy union. However, she is upset about her decision to return to Utah and is concerned about Cody's reaction. Mary tells her sister wife and close friend Robin Brown, I just don't like change and it's terrifying. I am aware that you are the only person who is concerned about it as well. Mary predicted Robin would regard her departure as the end of her dream of having the large polygamous family in the sneak peek for the episode airing on October 1. Cody, though, simply isn't going to give a crap. She is the one who is departing, he'll say. Well, C told you so. U.S. Weekly offers further information. The move of Mary's apparel store to Lizzie's Heritage Inn, she acknowledges, stresses me out on many levels. She still intends to maintain a residence in Flagstaff and divide her time between that location and Utah, though. Robin agrees with Mary's decision but expresses concern in a confessional that Mary might be going for good. She questions, is she just going to keep putting more pieces of herself there that will eventually take her there all the way? Robin never intended to be Cody's sole wife. In 1990, Cody and Mary got married. They welcomed Janelle Brown into their family in 1993 followed by Christine Brown in 1994. Robin Brown and Cody were spiritually wedded in 2010. Then, in order to legally wed Robin and adopt her three children, Cody and Mary divorced in 2014. Even though he and Mary still thought of themselves as spiritually married, their bond never recovered after that. Robin's worries came true when Cody and Mary announced their separation in January 2023, as she had anticipated. Mary leaves after Christine leaves in 2021 and after Janelle leaves in 2022. Leon Brown is the lone adult child of Cody and Mary. Robin Brown of Sister Wives is defended by a friend as not a home wrecker. It appears that Robin Brown has supporters. Following allegations that she plotted to end Cody Brown's marriages to Mary Brown, 52, Janelle Brown, 54, and Christine Brown, 51. The 44-year-old Sister Wives actress has received a lot of hate on social media. Kendra Pollard, a friend of Robin's, spoke out. In multiple episodes of the TLC hit show, she refuted that narrative and called it 100% false and unkind to her buddy. She reportedly stated, I want to clear the air on the fact that everyone is persuaded that Cody genuinely planned to bring Robin into the marriage to end it. All of that is false. Robin's presence and subsequent connection with the patriarch Brown, she continued, were not part of a premeditated plan. In actuality, Robin entered the scene via Mary, according to Kendra. Robin was introduced to Cody and the family by Mary. Robin's divorce and the fact that she had children meant that Cody wasn't even at first interested in her, Kendra added. They eventually got married in 2010, after he overcame this during their relationship. Kendra made sure to note that Cody didn't even begin taking Robin on private outings until after they got engaged. Well, as private as they can manage while carrying a film team. She argued Robin is not a homewrecker and their marriage was not planned. The fact that everyone seemed to think everything would be all right if it weren't for Robin, when in reality Cody had problems with all of his spouses, didn't sit well with Kendra either. They are painting Robin as a self-centered person who demanded everything from Cody, but the reality is that Cody had a very strict schedule that hardly ever changed, said Robin. Kendra could see that Cody and Christine as well as Cody and Mary already had issues. They hardly ever interacted with Robin, if at all. She merely served as a trigger for the existing problems. It's utterly ridiculous to sit here and blame Robin for the breakups when she isn't even at their homes, Kendra stated. If anything, Kendra claims that Cody used Robin as a sounding board for his woes, pleading with her non-stop to assist him in resolving his problems with Mary and Christine. In the end, everything is public and frequently subject to varying degrees of interpretation, but it's obvious that everyone requires a support system in the form of a buddy like Kendra. Was Cody Brown raised in a polygamist family on Sister Wives Rewind? 
The 2010 television series Sister Wives followed the life of an established polygamist family, lead by Cody Brown as they dealt with the ups and downs of getting a wife. After more than 10 years, Cody Brown is primarily alienated from many of his 18 children and has divorced three of his four spouses. Since the show's debut, fans have questioned Cody Brown's judgment and the Brown family's ability to function as a plural household. Could the family's issues with polygamy just be a result of their inexperience? Despite the fact that Cody Brown's father practiced polygamy in later years, Cody wasn't truly raised in a polygamist household. While the patriarch of the Brown family has practiced polygamy for the past three decades, prior to the release of Sister Wives, Cody Brown and his wives resided in Lehi, Utah, a city with a high population of polygamists. The family's decision to take on a fourth wife and relocate to Las Vegas, Nevada, seemed to cause everything to fall apart. Cody has now returned to monogamy because that is how he was brought up. Cody grew up in a typical family. Throughout Cody's upbringing, his parents Wynn and Jingy L. Brown were devoted members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Even though he was a follower of the church, he mostly disregarded the idea of plural marriage until he was an adult. The members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints are excommunicated for engaging in the activity. Even though Cody Brown's parents practiced polygamy, they didn't start until the 1980s. By that time, Cody had become an adult and had left the house. Cody Brown described traveling on a mission trip when he was 19 in the family memoir Becoming Sister Wives. The journey took two years. While Cody was abroad traveling with the church, Wynne Brown married a second woman. Cody asserts in his memoir that he had considered plural marriage before his parents joined a fundamentalist branch of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. In actuality, his mother was the one who first made him consider the idea. He said that when he was still a young teen, she sat him down to talk about the celestial kingdom and plural marriage. He admitted that he wasn't entirely sold on the concept. After completing his mission, he made the decision to join a church that supported plural marriage. He first met Mary Brown there. Mary had grown up in a polygamous household, unlike Cody. Although Janelle Brown and Cody Brown are currently estranged, it is simple to understand why they may have been drawn to one another. Cody and Janelle were both exposed to polygamy later in life. Janelle was brought up in a devout family, just like Cody, although her beliefs were more commonplace. While Janelle's father passed away while she was a little child, her mother had two monogamous marriages before deciding to try polygamy. Shortly before Janelle and Cody started dating, Cheryl Brown, Janelle's mother, wed Wynne Brown, the father of Cody Brown, and became his third wife. In 2013, Wynne Brown passed away. 2020 saw Cheryl Brown's passing. Since then, Cody and Janelle have broken up. However, Janelle hasn't declared herself to be divorced. She has considered returning to Utah and re-engaging with the region's polygamous population. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.